Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. This is Christy Tony, Calligraphy by CT. I am a calligrapher and hand lettering artist and I am hand lettering a wine bottle today. Yes, it is still engagement season and this is a great gift that people can give to the people that they would like to be uh, part of their big day. You know, whether it's a bridesmaid, a groomsman, whatever you want it to be. Um, but yeah, so I'm just drawing in lines because it's going to be a message on this bottle for that person. You can do use the Stabilo pencil. You can also use a um, Bistro chalk marker. The only difference between the two is that the chalk marker erases a little easier. And then I've got my Deco Color oil-based paint pens that I'm going to use. Um, these are the only pens that I use. And I'm sorry I'm covering up the lettering a little bit. This is a concave surface, so it was a little difficult to make sure I was staying on camera. But yeah, I was just writing out the letters and actually saying the phrase to myself just to try to figure out exactly where these letters were going to be nestled or positioned. So basically the phrase is, Kim, pop the bubbly, I'm getting a hubby. And then it says, will you be my bridesmaid? So, you know, I like to mix up fonts when I'm lettering. I like to do some cursive or script, and then I like to mix that with a, a more block or straight font because it just, it just looks festive. It's a lot of fun. So you can kind of see it a little better now. And so as you're going, you just want to make sure that your layout is still tight and that you're making sure that everything fits. That's going to be your biggest challenge on a bottle like this. And I thought hubby should be a little bold. Now here I thought bridesmaid should be bold the same way hubby was, but I don't have enough room for that, so I'm going to have to fix it. <laughs> but that's the good thing about writing in paint pen on glass or mirror or acrylic. You can always erase. So I have got my Turpanoid that erases deco color paint pen. If you're using a Sharpie paint pen, you can use alcohol or acetone, but don't use acetone on acrylic. Um, the acetone is only good on um, glass or mirrors. But yeah, so you just want to make sure that you steer clear of that label because you can ruin the label when you're using remover. And then just make sure you wipe the residue off. So we're going to touch up the descender and the Y that got erased. And now I think I'm just gonna do it in a script because the script is gonna fit better. Because you can get in trouble when you're writing in cursive or writing a script. And then if you, you know, really squeeze the letters, you can kind of get away with things. And there it is. So I think I want to add some decorative elements to this. I think I'm going to add some florals since we've got so much room on the side. And so everybody should be able to do a simple, you may not be a flower person, but you should be able to do a simple rose. And that is basically just starting in the center and then just going around with petals. It's like the most basic. There's a lot more you can do with this flower, but I don't want to add too much detail to it because I don't want to detract from the writing. This is only supposed to augment the message, not overpower it. 
So we'll add another one as we go up the phrase. And then just looking at it, I thought maybe it was just a little unbalanced. So we'll do something at the top to the left. I'm sorry I'm covering this. So yeah, so we can do something at the top. Just so it won't look so lonely up here. I love it. And now we need to remove these lines. Now again, the Stabilo pencil is a little bit more stubborn than the chalk marker, but the Stabilo pencil can also give you a more detailed line. So this is just a little water. I'm just putting a tiny bit of water on the paper towel. And I also let this ink set for like maybe a few minutes before I did the step, even though it basically cures instantly. But you just want to make sure that you don't smear your work. But it doesn't take long to dry at all. And that's it. I think it looks great. Great gift. Great keepsake. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Like and subscribe. Bye.